And now, your first alert five weather. Well, another toasty day on tap for Southern Colorado with high pressure still in place for us. Not quite as warm as yesterday. A cold front worked through earlier this morning. You wouldn't really have noticed it. There wasn't any moisture with it. You might have heard or seen or felt a couple of gusty breezes. That's really about it. All it's done is bring our temperatures down a few degrees. So today will not be record breaking warm, but it will still be warmer than average. All these yellows, oranges and reds you see here on this map. These are all above average temperatures. So pretty much the entire western half of the country. We're all seeing above average temperatures right now, but change is on the way. You see this upper level low here off the coast of Seattle that is going to make its way towards us kind of over the next few days and bring in a pretty big time pattern change for us. So here's this high pressure system that's giving us this warm and dry sunny weather. By Sunday that high starts to move a little bit further to the south and that low starts to move down the coast of California and I'm not showing it here but there's some moisture to the south. That low moves down, captures that moisture, brings in that pattern change for us. We'll talk more about what that means in a couple of minutes but your current temperatures across the state seasonable. Dry air in place, that, that air doesn't have a lot of energy with it, so it changes temperatures very quickly. So currently we're at 53 in the Springs, 42 in Pueblo, 56 in Canyon City, 49 in Denver. So if your plans are taking you out of Southern Colorado this morning, you're going to want to bring the jacket with you as you have for the entire week. But as we head through the morning, all of that sunshine, dry air, high pressure warms up our temperatures quickly as it has over the last several days. So if you want to go for a bike ride this afternoon, it's going to be pretty much perfect weather for it. 9 a.m. still a little bit on the breezy side, so if you are going cycling, you're going to need to have a windbreaker with you because that wind chill with b biking is going to make things feel rather chilly. But by 12 p.m., we're at 70. By 3 p.m., we're at 73. You really don't get any better for that because it's warm enough that you can comfortably wear shorts and a t-shirt, but not so warm that you can't cool down if you're working really hard on that bike. Now, as we take a look at satellite radar, here's this cold front that made its way through. It really didn't have that much with it. We don't see any clouds with it whatsoever. As I said, we may have a couple of gusty breezes through the rest of the day. And your highs today, because of that cold front, will be above average, but cooler than yesterday. 76 in the Springs, 81 in Pueblo, 80 in Canyon City, 67 in Woodland Park, upper 70s to low 80s along the Eastern Plains. But as we time things out with Futurecast, as we head through the rest of the weekend, the rest of today will be dry, mild, very pleasant and warm. As we head into the evening and into the day tomorrow, we'll have a few clouds work through associated with some upper level moisture and maybe a weak shower in some of the higher terrain. A better chance for that on Sunday afternoon as that high moves south, more moisture in place. So bring the rain jacket with you just in case if you're going to be doing anything above tree line tomorrow afternoon. But along the front range quarters, you can see still dry and sunny. But then as we head into Sunday night into Monday, here comes this cold front associated with that moisture that you saw with that low off to our northwest and that's going to bring in more clouds for our Monday cooler temperatures gustier breezes and then that really continues and picks up for us on Tuesday as that low pulls in a bunch of moisture so we really see a big time pattern change heading into the middle of next week and then as we head towards the end of next week and towards the end of the month we're finally going to see below average temperatures how about that so a big top. If you are a fan of warm weather, you're going to want to take advantage sooner rather than later. Looking at our super seven day forecast by the middle of the week, we're down to the 60s. By the end of this week, we're in the 50s. So that fall feeling is coming back by the end of this week. Tuesday, there's that increase in clouds. There is a spot shower chance. I don't have it shown on the seven day because it's very low, but just know it's there and that will indicate that pattern shift to a more seasonable fall like pattern in Pueblo. 80s for the next two days, very summer like by Tuesday, tons of clouds. We bring in more moisture. We start to warm back up Wednesday, but then we cool back down to that seasonable pattern by Friday. Canyon City 80s for the next two days as well. 60 by 60s by Tuesday, 60s Thursday and 50s on Friday and in Woodland Park. As you look ahead towards the end of the week, we've got a couple shower chances Tuesday, maybe even one on Wednesday morning with a bit of a breeze and then Thursday night. We've got our first time seeing a freezing low temperature in over a week. Alright, Casey, let's take folks around town now.